What is going on everyone? I'm sure you've all heard about this by now, but T-Mobile and SpaceX's Starlink service is in beta and we actually finally got a chance to use it and test it out the other day where we had no cell coverage. If you are not too familiar with it, this is something, like I said, in beta, you can sign up for if you are a T-Mobile customer. And this is actually meant to be a direct to sell satellite service that again is powered by SpaceX's Starlink. And it really is hoping to offer a potential solution for connectivity in areas with no or poor cell coverage. And early testing is out and about and it can transmit text messages in locations where traditional cell service is unavailable. However, ourself included, other users have actually reported inconsistent performance and slow speeds. Keep in mind, you are not able to browse the web and use data in the typical sense. This is more in emergencies, if you need to send a text message out, if you need to ping your location, get in touch with authorities, that is really the use case for this. It really is meant to be used in areas where there is not coverage with cell towers, if it's not available, that really will allow it uh, enable text messaging. Again, since it's in beta, the service is really still just not ready to go. Performance is still gonna improve in future updates, but right now it is just not there. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. And then also the biggest part is the potential here. And I really do secretly think this is SpaceX, Elon Musk, wanting to maximize Starlink's potential and start offering cell services down the line when this stabilizes. Obviously network congestion is a real thing. This is something I think that will really help, especially when we get data involved and you're able to ping and do traditional things you would do with LTE, 5G, or any of that typical cell service you would get. So anyways, what happens here is when you do see SAT on your iPhone, that means you have a direct line of sight to a satellite in your area and you're able to utilize this service. It's on by default in iPhones, it's simply under your settings, satellite, and you will see it there. For us, it said T-Mobile, obviously. And then you will see T-Mobile Starlink satellite. Once you see this, you can see a breakdown of what you can do. We aim to just send a couple of quick text messages and it was very inconsistent when it went through. When we actually went to ping another user on an iPhone, it went through as a SMS message and that kind of showed to the recipient an SMS and then duplicated to an iMessage. That was a one-off, it could have been a fluke, but just something I want you to be aware of. It is not perfect just yet. In the meantime though, when you don't have service in a pinch, if you are stable and in a, st a steady location where you can keep that line of sight to the satellites, this is really helpful. There's a ton of rural areas, a ton of hikers that like to go up mountains where cell service just isn't great. That's what this is meant to help and utilize and be utilized for, I should say. Um, but long-term plans, like I said, you should be able to do everything with a satellite connection that you would with a cell tower. Play games, stream movies, send text messages, calls, all of that, but that is all still to come minus the text messaging aspect and these other few items like I showed on the screen. Not gonna be the end all be all, but yeah. I wanna know if any of you guys have actually had the opportunity to test Starlink out here through T-Mobile service and what your results were. Again, we're one person, this is just what our experience was, and it was the first time we were actually able to do that. Fortunately, we're in a good area that has steady service. But even so, if you are in a typical area where you see T-Mobile service, if those cell towers go down, this could be the best option for you out there. Let us know in the comments below, what do you think about Starlink? What do you think about this partnership? And do you ultimately think, like we do, this is the beginning of their entrance into offering their own cell service. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.